is coming to take us away as we migrate. Hey, it's Braden Muffin back with a beer review, and here we have from Orpheus Brewing down in Hotlanta, Georgia. This is from our good friend Nick Utam over there on WCBS. Transmigration of Souls Double IPA. Excellent. 10%, 85 IBUs, inspired by the Orphic Bone tablets, which explore uh, the dichotomous nature of life and death. Our Bone Tablet series reveals the many sides of the IPA. Transmigration of Souls is an irresponsibly hopped double IPA, oh I'm liking this, bursting with life from an absurd amount of aromatic, hop, aromatic hops. You'll experience bouquet of orange, lemon, and tropical fruit sitting on top of a clean, dry, malt body. Normally I don't read all that stuff because I don't want my taste buds, but man, I can't wait. Oh, wow. Tropical fruit, like all of them. Wow. This has been sitting out a while, and it's gotten a bit warm. Oh my goodness, that's bitter too. Oh, look, that malt backbone comes through even on the aroma. Wow, I like that layered. It's got like several layers of caramel malt. Maybe some aromatic malt. And it tastes like they've got, they're using a couple different varieties of pails in there too. Now, I can't pick out the pail. I'm not going to say it's Otis Malt or, you know, I don't even know them all anymore. Man, that 10% alcohol really feels higher than that. It's got some serious alcohol warming to it. I'm not sure why it's so foamy. Maybe it's the glass I'm using. Let's see if we pour it a little bit slower this time. Whoa! There's more in there left in there than I thought. But it's almost to the fill line. So this is what this kind of glass is for, is a very foamy beer. Man, that is fantastic. That is really, I don't have any check-ins on this beer. For a double IPA, irresponsibly hop, there's a little bit of a funkiness in there. So I'm wondering if we're using some uh, Citra hops on the dry hopness. As the name implies, Citra will give you some nice lemony and orange citrusy flavors and aromas, but it also has a funkiness to it sometimes, especially when it's used as a secondary hop, which is what they're doing. They're, they're dry hopping, irresponsibly hop, so this is most likely in the 10% alcohol. That's enough alcohol to really pull those oils out of the hops uh, when you let them sit in secondary for a couple weeks. Yeah, definitely hints of orange. Travel food. I don't know if I get much lemon. I did it say lemon? Yeah, tropical fruit, definitely. Passion fruit, mango. That's one of the things I want to do with that. my next uh, my beer for the 100K is I want to take a bunch of tropical hops. I'm not going to use citrus. I don't want the funkiness. And throw them all in there. El Dorado is great. The mango flavor, the aroma that it gives is incredible. I like that. I like the complexity on both the malts and the hops. That is fantastic. It has a nice, it does have some alcohol warming, but the 85 IBU does not feel like that because there's enough malt sweetness and malt backbone that it tempers at 85 and it doesn't just kind of kick you in the teeth. But that is really good. I like that it looks like it's got natural carbonation or maybe a mixture. We've got some cloudiness and so we've got some yeast in the bottom. That's excellent. That's very good. Nick, this is an excellent beer. That Orpheus, this is, a, this is like the second or third beer I've had from them, and they've, they've all been fantastic. I really like this. I'm going to have to go on a road trip down to Hotlanta and visit several of these breweries, that's for sure. Mmm, that is fantastic. Very nice. Now, this is a beer that you could have with a meal, but at 10% alcohol, <laughs> that's quite a bit. But this is also a beer you can have with it by itself, so with cheeses and some other finger foods, maybe some sausages and stuff like that, and just enjoy this beer. Now this has been sitting out a while, the dogs were rambunctious and I didn't get to, to filming when I wanted to, but if you poured this cold and let it warm up, I'm no doubt it's going to change complexities in various levels along the way. It's not quite the complexity level of, say, uh, an Arrogant Bastard 
um, from Stone or some of those other really big 10, 12% beers, IPA, double IPA, stuff like that, especially they have darker roasted malts in with them. Not quite a, kind of a reddish color, not a, not a porter, uh, not that far, not a brown ale. But they have a little nice little hints of roastness and different things. You're going to get a little bit more malt complexity there than you will with a, a pale one like this. It's got a nice orange color. But this is, it's like a, it's like a double IPA that has hints of the, the New England style because it's cloudy. It's a little on the juicy side. The, the, the fruitiness of it from the hops is just incredible. And uh, it is a little bit fizzy, but I really like it. I'm giving this one a five. I mean, there are other IPAs that are better in some respects, but not as much. But in light of all those, it's hard to say which one I'd like better. It's kind of what my mood, but they definitely are beers that deserve to be the main attraction. So this is something that if you had something like this, have your meal, have a, a minor beer or none, uh, get some good hydration, and then finish this off. It's not quite a dessert beer. It's kind of a sitting around chatting with friends. Maybe it's before a meal. So maybe you're having finger foods or something, or maybe that's what you're having afterwards, some cheese and crackers, stuff like that. You're just sitting around, maybe some fruit. You're talking to your, your friends and enjoying. Um, this would be a great one if you could get a 22-ounce bottle of this uh, to bring to a bottle share, something like that, everybody having a little bit and enjoying this uh, over the course of, say, a half an hour or so. But that is really great. Thank you very much, Nick, for bringing these up. And we'll, um, we'll see it. But so, transgression, uh, Transmigration of Souls, double IPA is a five. Is that way too generous? You think I'm off my rocker? You like this beer? Don't like this beer? Let me know. And we'll see you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. How can it not read that? Transmigration of souls? Transmigration of souls. Cool. Double IP, 10%. Awesome.